Pete the Cat, Construction Destruction. Recess, Pete shouts as the bell rings. But when Pete gets outside to play, oh no, the playground is a disaster. The swings are broken, the slide is rusty, and the sandbox is full of weeds. Pete makes plans for a new playground. Wow, says Principal Nancy. Can you really build that? Not by myself, says Pete. I'm going to need some help. Whatever you need, Pete, it's yours. The next day, Pete arrives at the playground before school. The construction crew is already there. He gives them the go-ahead to tear down the old playground. Creak, crash, down goes the slide. Clink, clink, down go the swings. Bang, boom, down goes the tower. A truck arrives to recycle the metal. The new playground equipment has arrived. It's time to get to work. The cement mixer will pour concrete. The dump truck will bring sand and dirt. The backhoe will dig. The whole team will get the job done. Building a playground is hard work. The new playground is cool, but it's not cool enough. What do you think, Pete asks, holding up his latest plans. It will be too hard to build, says one of the workers. And everything is almost finished, says another. But it will make this the best playground ever, Pete says. Then let's do it, the workers say. Screwdrivers twist in screws. Wrenches tighten the nuts. The workers try to make everything perfect. Hooray! The new playground is ready. Everyone is amazed until... Creak, creak, creak. Oh no, says Principal Nancy, as the new playground crashes to the ground. The pieces are all mixed up. Everyone is disappointed, except for Pete. It's not how we planned it, Pete shouts. It's even better. This playground is filled with surprises and places to explore. The school playground is the most amazing playground ever. Sometimes, you've got to dare to dream big. Hey kids, if you like that book about construction, you may like this one. Where do diggers sleep at night? Where do diggers sleep at night? Written by Brianna Kaplan Sayers and illustrated by Christian Slade. Where do diggers sleep at night? Do they dream of holes they dug? Do their moms reach front tobacco when they give a goodnight hug? Where do dump trucks sleep at night after dumping dirt and rocks? Do they gather toys and dump them in a giant truck toy box? Where do garbage trucks sleep when they're done collecting trash? Do their dads sniff their load and say, P.U., time to take a bath. Where do monster trucks sleep when they've done a day of crushing? Do they find a giant puddle when their metal teeth need brushing? There's that magical sound, and it looks like the mailbox is busting at the seams. Must be something big. Let's see what it is. A monster truck. This is a cool one too. Look at the little face on it and little roll bar. Well, let's get back to the story. 
where do fire engines sleep when they've won their firefights? Do their flashing fire red beacons make for super bright night lights? Where do snowplows sleep at night when they've cleared the snow away? Do their moms say, get to sleep, boys. Lots more snow is on the way. Where do car transporters sleep when they're loaded up with cars? Do they tell those cars a story as they sleep beneath the stars? Where do tow trucks sleep at night when they've reached their destination? Do they tuck each broken car into a cozy service station? You know what that means. I can't wait to see what's inside. <laughs> it's a little tow truck. You can see the little hook on the back for towing your car. Have your parents ever had to have their car towed? They just hook it up right on the back and then they pull it to a service station to get fixed. I do wonder where the tow trucks sleep at night, don't you? It's cool to find out that they might tuck the other cars into bed and then go to sleep themselves. Well, let's see what else happens in the story. Where do giant cranes sleep when they've lifted their last beams? Do their moms pick them up and rock them and wish them sweet truck dreams? Where do tractors sleep at night after plowing all day long? Did their dad sing Old Truck Donald for a barnyard bedtime song? There's our favorite sound. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. A tractor! Do you think the tractors sleep in the barn with the hay like they showed in the book? Do you think the daddy tractors sing Old Truck Donald instead of Old McDonald before they go to bed? You never know. Well, let's see what else happens in the story. Where do all these trucks sleep after rumbling down the road? Do they gather at a truck stop to rest their heavy loads? Do they ask for one more story, one more kiss, and one more hug? Do they cuddle with their teddies under blankets soft and snug? Where do your truck sleep at night when it's time to go to bed? They'll be waiting in your toy box when you wake, my sleepy head. The end. Thank you for joining me today to read Where Do Diggers Sleep at Night? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Well, if you haven't already and you like Gigi's videos, please make sure to hit subscribe. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.